For all your web hosting needs, check out Bluehost where you can get plans for as low as $3.95 per month. Sign up today and get a free domain plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So the whole idea of having a green screen is something that I think most of us are familiar with. And that is having a video or image in the front and then a different image or video in the back. And this is done mainly through a green screen. And then you could actually edit this in a video editing software. But this whole feature has not been available, at least on a large scale, to people without having a green screen or doing any type of video editing. But now YouTube is going to be providing this through the use of artificial intelligence. And so as you can see here, here are some samples. This is actually going to be done through their YouTube app. And the way that it works is just as you think it does, you will just record your video and then there you go. You can actually put a different background behind you or maybe video later on without any type of green screen. As you can see here, this looks pretty good. You know, I'm pretty impressed by that. And you don't have to do any type of video editing at all. And why this is so important is because not only is it a cool feature, but it actually brings the whole world of augmented reality even closer okay and so i really think that virtual reality isn't really where a lot of companies are going it's really augmented reality which is part of virtual reality as well and with augmented reality you know you don't really need to have a lot of sophisticated hardware or a vr setup because with augmented reality you could bring a different artificial world into you wherever you're at simply by using your smartphone or maybe later on through your smart glasses okay so this is a technology that all these companies are actually working on because it has so many different applications okay and now right now it is an application that is primarily used for entertainment purposes okay so you can see here with apple's animoji right here where they actually map your face and use you as an animal and then with Samsung's very similar augmented reality AR emoji where it actually maps your face and makes a cartoon character of yourself. And so I have talked about this in a previous episode before where a lot of times whenever companies want to introduce new technologies, they'll usually introduce it through means of entertainment so that people actually use it and that they're not really thinking about the larger reasons why they are using it okay because obviously this is fun okay and this could actually be used in so many applications but then you actually have to think about what are they actually doing well they're actually recording your face okay they actually have a very sophisticated map of your face so for all the people who are concerned about privacy well it goes way beyond that because if you think about augmented reality your face is one thing but what about your location now they actually not only know your location but they can also map your entire surroundings and do 3d renderings of where you are okay and so that is the whole privacy concern part but the whole part of where this is valuable you know is that think about if you wanted to build a new hospital or a new community okay or maybe you yourself was going to build a new home through this augmented reality technology it will allow you to virtually you know go through your new house without actually having it built yet which is pretty awesome or maybe if you are a doctor and you were going to do some really sophisticated surgery AR technology can really you know um, help in a lot of different ways um, especially whenever the whole idea of virtual operations will become even more commonplace in the future where you could do it through an AR world um, I know that sounds kind of crazy but that's actually where we're heading and so that is it for this particular episode. I just really wanted to talk about the YouTube AI first, you know, doing the green screen, but really what the whole point of this technology is, where it's really heading. And these are actually, you know, just my thoughts on where uh, we're heading in the future. If you had any thoughts on the whole YouTube AI uh, for green screens or any other purposes, including um, augmented reality or virtual reality, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that 
at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.